Alright guys, alright, so today we're playing Spongebob Squarepants, Super Sponge. I would like you to note that there is no music here. Well, there was, but then I had to restart the recording because I had forgotten to turn off the mic recording in my recording software because I'm using Audacity. Because I got this pretty sick mic. That's why it sounds different. Obviously, hopefully it sounds a bit better than my normal setup. I also got some pretty sweet skull candies. Sorry, I left the table there. You can probably hear that pretty well in the recording. Cool. Awesome. Sweet. Let's get into this atrocity. Wait, before I jump into this, I just want to say... This is one of those games where you enjoyed it as a kid only because you didn't, you when you're a kid, you don't really know crap from quality. Oh boy, this is going to be fun. Here we go. So we got our standard option screen. You know, you got your screen adjust, your sound, you know, controls. I'm gonna turn this down. You know, because... Viacom, am I right? Hold on a moment. Okay, cool. Hopefully that reduces the lag just a little bit. Okay. Alright, hold on. Let me click in here. That would probably... That's gonna be a nice little blooper. Sweet. Anyway, um... So sorry about any lag here. But there's nothing I can do about it, honestly. Alright, let's jump in. Okay, uh, I'm not excited about this. So, one of the cool things about this game, though, there's four slots. So you can have four people being tortured all at once. And you can see here, this is all, you su all the stuff you need to gather, I'm guessing. I haven't even beat this game, it's that horrible. And I've had this since I was a kid. At least the loading times I have these. Ah, here we are at Bikini Bottom. And today, we will be following my favorite creature, SpongeBob SquarePants, on his adventures around Bikini Bottom. Okay, cool. What I like about this, though, is they used with the real voice actors, I think. Today, he is in search of the best birthday present ever for his best friend, Patrick. The question is, how far will he go for his best friend? Very far. Gary, I just had a great idea about what to get Patrick for his birthday. Oh no, not you again. Just keep the noise down. What do you want? It's my best friend Pat's friend Patrick's birthday, and a signed photo of his favorite superheroes would be the best thing ever. Well, we are a bit busy right now. No rest for superheroes. <laughs> well, I know that Mermaid Man might consider signing one for a superhero snack. Uh, yeah. See that butter? Tomatoes. Jelly. Like a calculator, you can count on it. That seems rather tedious to count on a calculator. Meow. Gary's the lucky one. He gets left out of this atrocity. At least for most of it. If you're wondering why I call this an atrocity, hopefully you'll see soon enough. I'm probably gonna do like the first chapter here. 
you know, maybe. Uh, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. I don't know. I'm going to wing this. I've written no script. I might even do a formal review of this. Like, later. Hi! Hi, Squidward! Word! Ready? Ready for another, for another great, great day together, friend, friend? Today, Sunday, Sunday, SpongeBob, for, for, forget the crusty crab, the crab. Hey, moron, moron, why don't you take your net, your net, and go waste somebody else, somebody else's time? Cool. Hey, hey, I can, I can use this net, this net. Okay, so basically, what he's saying is, you use this thing, right, to catch jellyfish, so that you can throw them at slightly annoying innocent creatures. See? Oh yeah, and you can find stuff. Which is oddly satisfying, actually. Oh, ow. Aw, oh, I couldn't even get the air catch, dude. I'm, I'm not gonna be on ID, dude. That's not happening. If I couldn't get that hardcore air catch, and what am I supposed to do with my life? Oh yeah, that's right. Not play this game. See, like, the level design's not half bad for, you know, considering it's a licensed game, you know, for the first, like, level. You know, I actually enjoy this level. You know, if you're skilled enough, like that, you can just breeze through this level. With some hardcore parkour, Ah, oh, that was cheap. I call hacks. Okay. And we finished the first level. See, that only took us a few minutes. Okay. No frustration whatsoever. This is where it gets frustrating. Okay, so in this level, it's in Sandy's Tree Dome. So, in this level, you not only have to worry about getting hit. SpongeBob, you silly old sponge! Try using your helmet! Now, in the show, the helmet doesn't, like, run out of water. But as you'll see, right when I enter this area, the little helmet in the top there is getting lower and lower. So you got to jump in these to make sure that your helmet is full enough so that you can make it to the next thing without dying. Oh my god, man. This is awful. I hate this level so much. And it doesn't, like, control the best, either. Like, I'm barely nudging the stick right now. Honestly. It saddens me, too, because this game was made by THQ. And I know they can do, like, a lot better. You know... I mean, they did go bankrupt, but, you know. At least they didn't release No Man's Sky, am I right? Oh my god, kill me. I don't want to subject myself to this torture. This was an awful idea. Mm -hmm. This second level is probably already taking longer than the first level. Someone comment down below if I was correct on that or not. What? What? 
No. I did not. I did not just like go through that platform. Well, while I'm here, I'll just get these. I don't even understand why there are jellyfish in this area. You can't catch them. So what's the point? They're probably just there for, like, consistency purposes. But... What the heck? I was totally standing on a branch there. This game, man... Remember how I was just talking about how they probably kept the jellyfish or whatever in for consistency? Scratch that, because this game doesn't know the meaning of the word consistency. Oh wait, they're not jellyfish, they're butterflies. Literally the only butterfly in Spongebob literally made Spongebob and Patrick think they were going to get murdered. Like, I'm not even joking about that. If you haven't seen the show, that's like the entire focus of one episode. A worm. Come on. No. I'm not gonna die. Oh, that was too close, man. That's no good. That's no good. This game is evil. Evil. Dude, this level is, is literally taking longer than any other part of this recording. I'm not even joking about that. Like, the difficulty curve in this is instant. You know you're in for a bad time. Oh, speaking of bad times, hopefully I'll be making some Undertale content for you guys. I'm literally recording this at, well, at the moment it's 11.30 at night. My dad is asleep in his room. Luckily the, the door is closed, so I don't have to be like super quiet. You know, because that's just my, not my style. Oh boy. I literally might have to make this a two-parter. I'm just getting so frustrated at this game. If you even want to call it that. I'm trying to play the game. I'm trying to play this game. But this one ledge keeps kicking my butt. Yes. I literally just allowed everyone to make the legend 27 joke in the comments so uh go for it i don't care honestly that'll brighten up my day when i post this because hopefully this video is at least relatively successful so that my torture isn't you know, wasted. Oh my god. Okay, don't get excited yet. Ooh, pro skills. Oh my god. Oh my god, I might be able to do this. Holy crap. Come on, wait for that. Okay, cool. Dude, look how many, uh, things they're putting up here. 
It's literally like they know this game is absurdly frustrating. And that you're gonna be falling like every 15 seconds. Now, if they would have been that nice in the beginning of the level, that would have been great. Now, that acorn there is really cheap because with that acorn, okay, cool, we made it past the really difficult part. With that acorn, you can literally get into the thing that gives you water. So if you're literally just barely surviving with your water, right? And you don't have any spatulas left, you're literally screwed. Kill me now. I did it! <sighs> I did it, guys! <laughs> God, screw this game. This game is awful. If you guys want to play it, um, just go to this uh, website called MU Paradise. Look up the name. Uh, you need to have EPSXE installed. But that's Not a quick the kelp, the kelp lettuce. Op um, so you, bark. you too, can actually subject yourself to this. Amazing. Alright guys, so I'm going to end this video here. If you liked that, make sure to... Um, hit that like button. If you sympathize with me here, make sure to hit that like button. And, if you fall under either of those categories, or if you don't, make sure you subscribe to make sure you get all of my content. And, make sure that you actually press uh, the little bell so that way, you actually get notified, instead of not getting notified, because that's not good. Um, I end, like I said, I ended up getting a new mic, so hopefully you guys like that um, a little bit better than, you know, my earbuds. Um, you know, it's probably going to sound a little more professional. I tested it out, and the mic sounds really good. So, anyway guys, I hope you really enjoyed that episode, because I didn't. It's probably going to be more fun editing that than actually, like, recording. There are some games that are fun to record, and then there's this game. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope my torture was not in vain. And I hope that you guys will stick around for the next episode. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.